So, I made a comment in the other video saying, if the video got 10 likes, then I would release the next part the day after. However, as it would happen, it was like 90 degrees, and I couldn't record because like, I couldn't exactly have a fan going. And then, if I don't have a fan going, I die. Which isn't great as far as making content goes. Because as far as I know, you can't do it while you're dead. So we're going to be releasing the next one as soon as possible. Um, and while we're on that topic, should I do it? Should I just do it at the start? Because like, even doing it at the end is really is gross, but I guess I got to do the YouTuber thing. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash timeout64. Follow me on Twitch. I'm doing a Danganronpa 2 playthrough, blind playthrough. Uh, we're on the third case, so be sure to check us out there. Bell icon, Raid Shadow Legends, Squarespace, uh, Manscape G Fuel. Okay, I think that about covers it, so why don't we go back to where we left off, which was, if I remember correctly, here. So, who are we going to show our problem to first? Of course, it's going to be Natsuki, as always. This is a Natsuki playthrough, after all. It's going to be all Natsuki all the time, so if you don't want that, I'm sorry, but I guess you're just going to have to subscribe for the next playthrough. Uh, if you <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm just acting so gross all of a sudden. It's really only fair if I shared mine with her first. Alright, what say you, Natsuki? Don't make it seem like I'm spacing out. It's just... Okay, let's start with what I don't like. First of all... Natsuki reads palm again. Actually, never mind. I don't feel like you need my opinion doing us like that, huh? Then what's the point in sharing at all? Don't literature clubs, like, share constructive criticism or something? No, it's just... Unless he fails to come back with a follow-up. He's obviously uncomfortable about something. But from what I've seen, it's certainly I'm not giving out criticism. Hey, this is my first time sharing poems, too. It's been uncomfortable for all of us, yeah. But we should still try and help each other. You know, funny story. And this is gonna be one of many Time of the Mouth funny stories, but... Uh, in college, I took a creative writing class, right? And one of the, the units was poetry and stuff. And I had to write, like, eight poems or something like that. And I was like, oh, I hate this. So, I basically, I, for, because I ran out of inspiration, I basically rewrote the Fate Stay Night Unlimited, Unlimited Blade Works chant. And kind of made that into the form of a poem. I'm, it wasn't quite, it wasn't plagiarism, but... It was basically, like, a direct reference to it, <laughs> and everyone was like, man, that, this is so, like, subliminal and, like, deep meaningful and all that stuff, which it, you know, was, but, uh, <laughs> one person came up to me and I was like, you motherfucker, did you really just, did you really do that? And he didn't have to even say what I was doing, and I was like, I did it. <laughs> yes, sir, I did it. And that was fun. Anyways. And I ended up uh, not doing too bad on that unit. So, let's go weebs. And more to the point, let's go the fact that there weren't that many weebs in that class. Because if they pointed that out publicly, that could have been could have been a little awkward. Anyways. It's been uncomfortable for all of us, but we should still try and help each other. It's not that. I'd feel more comfortable if the problem was really bad. I could be like, not that bad, but here's what the work of a real poet looks like. But, no. So, basically, my poem is just flawless, and it's so good that she's uncomfortable. Because she liked my poem that much, I, and I'm just too sick with it. I get what you mean. Now she looks relieved at my statement. Uh, can I see your poem now? Ah, fine. Only because Monica's gonna make me either way. It's called Sometimes. Some folks are winners, some only lose, some are go-getters, some only cruise. Sometimes we try hard and give it our all, sometimes we give up. What else can we do? Okay. Well, it's kind of like the original, you know, humans can try and that's about it. But a little bit different, so I can appreciate the, uh... I didn't just, like, take the same exact poem. But also that they kept to the spirit of the original one. So I like that. 
Natsuki isn't exact. Well, I was gonna say Natsuki's palms aren't exactly the deepest, but a lot of them kind of are if you look into them a little bit more. But this one was more to the more straightforward, I guess. I told you you'd hate it. Actually, I like it. Don't just say it's good because I'm a girl. Uh, no. You know, it's funny because whenever this poem, whenever the game says that the poem is good, it's just the writers complimenting themselves if you think about it. And I think there's a little, little bit of funniness involved with that. It's simple, but it's pretty effective. Certainly someone who gets it. People in high school think poetry has to be so formal and vague, but they don't realize that simple writings is just as effective, if not more. The reader shouldn't have to search for meaning, that's just stupid. Besides, the simpler the writing, the more emphasis on wordplay. I like how I made most of the lines start with some. Yeah, I noticed that. More made the couplet seem more powerful. And the game just complimenting itself. That is funny. Now, I didn't expect that from the youngest of the club, did ya? Nah, I guess not. Next up, I'm uh, gonna go with Sayori. You said this is your first poem, right? Yeah, why? It impressed me. Especially to your, for your first poem. Maybe this really is the place for you. <laughs> Come on, it's not that good. I mean, it's not like I'm used to writing poems or anything, but thanks, I guess. Don't be so hard on yourself, Sam. Everyone has to start from somewhere. You're already off to a great start. Anyways, I'll show you mine. Don't expect too much, though. I'm not very good at this. One way to find out. Alright, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kiss my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy for my eyes. Oh, it's so bright. It's like the whiteness on the screen is like showing onto my face. It's gross. But I said, I, I use gross like for everything. I don't know why. Uh, are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. So very much keeping to the original spirit of the original poem. So, that's nice. I hesitate as I answer. It's not that it was a bad poem, in fact it was great, and I'm just really experienced, inexperienced with poetry, especially feedback. It's really you. Which to... which in, in some... Some uh, context could be seen as an insult with some people. I definitely would not recommend giving that kind of feedback to someone unless you really mean it as a compliment and they understand that you do too. As in the poem just really reminds me of you. It made me feel really good inside. Yeah, I know idea what to expect. It's my first time reading your poetry. So by the way, but the way this was written out now, it feels wholesome 100 and cheery. Uh, like you are. I also really like the last line. Okay, so I'm just... Yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so you wrote the poem this morning. And <laughs> no. Well, maybe. I forgot to write it last night. Well, at least we know where your inspiration comes from. Eggs and toast. Well, I suppose it sounds silly, but if it works, then it isn't silly. Either way, thanks for showing me your poem. This was hella good. Okay, next time I won't forget. Tomorrow's poetry will be even better. I hold you to that. Next up, and this is going to just be in order of my favorites, it's going to be Yuri next. Hmm. Yuri says the poem, and it passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, is everything okay? Oh goodness, sorry. I know what I want to convey, but uh, I need to fight the right, find the right words. Basically, your poem sucks. Like, it's, it's trash. There's nothing good about it. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just awful. I mean, it's not really. I don't mean to be rude, but I guess that might be hard. Might be after reading through it. So it's that bad. Yeah, your poem kind of sucks, bro. Not even gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a thousand and one with you. It's, it's garbage. It's, it's terrible. Your bears are facing hands. I get up and notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Your seems to be incredibly introverted. It must take her a long time to warm up to new people. Don't worry about it. We all start somewhere, right? Uh, what were you saying? Uh, right, um, I just noticed a few qualities consistent with newer writers that showed up in your poem. Perhaps what stands out the most is that you tried very hard to make the structure of the poem your own. And that's okay, but if this is your first poem, it might be prudent to consider more traditional structures. Uh, couplets, sonnets, haiku, and the like. Uh, alright. I guess, why don't, why don't we start fresh now? I'll, I'll make a haiku real quick. I am Tommy Lamau. Lamau? Lamau. Or is that two? Lamau. It's one. I am Tommy Lamau. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Refrigerator. Alright, we got it. We got it. The perfect poem. It's just, it's so great. And what a beautiful haiku. Haikus are the dumbest thing ever, man. Like, 
how are you actually gonna get meaning, a meaningful thing, out of like a total of 17 lines? Or 17 syllables, not lines. 17 lines is a lot. Even syllables, like, how do you even do that? You can't even make a sen- most sentences aren't even 17 syllables. Anyways, I'm just kind of ignoring what she's saying, but... It'd be okay if I look at what you've written. Oh goodness, of course. Please let me know what you think, I'd be thrilled to explain my process. Your smell is dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny, after all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Alright. Tumble. Hail falls down like discarded dust of overused emotions, dragging down blankets made of want. Slender string pierces my eyelids, barely painful, and pulls them shut. Even so, ever so heavy, ever so heavy. This is so hard to read. I think I've misplaced something. Is there a piece missing? You need all the pieces to fix something. Please don't look for it. There are more important things for you to do today. Okay, so that was Tumble, and man, I, I have such a hard time reading script. Um, so I think I more or less get it. And Yuri's poems are always the more uh, complicated, kind of complex, subliminal, subliminally, kind of deep. Um, if I had to take a stab at it, <laughs> stab at it, Yuri joke, um, I would probably say it's like something about like unfulfillment and like discontent. Obviously, it's about discontent with like yourself, but. Maybe like, I don't know, it's like maybe you're like missing something, or like you lost something, something like that. I don't know, I'm not very good at poetry, and like, the, the hidden meanings and stuff. So, that, that's just my best guess. Uh, so sorry if my writing's a bit ineligible. Once the pen touches the page, I just want to get my thoughts. It's fine, you're, I was able to read just, no I was not, I absolutely was not. I wasn't thinking at all. Are you sure? It seemed to take you a while to read it, I'm bringing the fourth wall there, but... Kinda did, kinda did. Well, I guess I don't see a curse about it, but it's really nice when you do. Your writing's actually quite pretty. Uh, is that so? I could, I couldn't, I can't like imagine. Like some people actually write cursive, and that's just crazy to me. Like it's so hard to read, and like why would you go through all that trouble to start? Actually, I have heard that it's easier to write, but I don't know about that. This is all your handwriting fits your word choice, or vice versa. It wasn't too short, was it? I'm used to writing longer pieces, but since this is the first time we're sharing, I thought it'd be easier to share. That makes sense. You mind me telling what it's about, though? I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay. They're actually, like, telling us what it's about. That's good. So, I didn't mean to write something confusing. Uh, I just want to be... I want to be sure I'm reading it properly. I see. I suppose from a cursory glance, it might not be obvious, but part of what makes poetry magical is how you can conjure up a vivid image with your words. While on the surface might seem a bit out there, if you look a little deeper, you might be able to find a deeper meaning hitting amongst the lines compounded by the metaphors used. For example, the words and images in this poem aren't meant to be taken at face value. In actuality, it's supposed to represent the last remnants of something lost in the past and the sense of planted of longing that comes with it. Okay, so I wasn't actually too far off there. I, I was in the right like ballpark, at least. And poetry's always kind of been my worst subject, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I was always really bad at poetry. So, I was more or less able to get this one, which is uh, a little bit, little bit of an ego boost, just for myself. That's pretty impressive when you put it that way. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. But thanks for the compliment. Hopefully during your time here, your understanding of poetry will grow and these things will come to you naturally. I'll do my best. Thank you for sharing with me. Of course. Okay. Got that done. I guess we're off to Monica's now. Hi, Tommy Lamau. Hope you've been enjoying your time here. Yeah, definitely. I probably sound like a broken record by now, but everyone's been really welcoming. Well, how well a broken record isn't so bad when it plays something so nice. I guess so. Anyway, since you're new and everything, feel free to bring up any questions or concerns you might have. It's my duty as president to make sure that everything is perfect. I'd hate- I'd have to say that you've been doing a great jo good job of that already. I doubt that I'll ever have anything to complain about. Either way, I'm always open to your suggestions, so don't be afraid to bring things up. Alright, I keep that in mind. She says that, but it's gonna be a bit intimidating to try to criticize Monica of all people. I've always had a hard time, like, giving feedback to some people. Like, I just don't like giving negative feedback. But I also realize you have to because, like, there's no point of feedback if, you're, if it's just like, oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. So I don't know. I always, I always just find like small things that, like, even if there's like a larger problem, like, and I, and I can't just say like, it's bad, or like, it just makes no sense, or it's something like that. 
I always just give like small things. It's like, oh, this line here doesn't really fit or something like that. I don't know. I've always just been, I've been really bad at giving constructive criticism. Because usually it's either not constructive or not criticism. And it, I'm just bad with it. All right, anyways, just showing me the ball. Don't worry, though. We're all alone there today. I don't think many people share their poetry on a regular basis. In fact, I never share my poetry because I never write poetry because who the heck does poetry in the first place? But I sort of think that you get pretty used to pretty quickly. Uh, blah, 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 and my poem. Don't grin me too harshly. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. I watch nervously as she quickly scans through my poem. Mm-hmm. It's a nice poem, Tyler Mao. You think? Mm-hmm. Although I'd have to say it's a lot cuter than something I would have expected out of you. Eh... Uh, is that bad? Nah, of course not. It's just something I wouldn't- I would have thought Natsuki would write, for instance. Or someone who's going for a Natsuki route would write. So to speak. She's a good writer, so you should take that as a compliment. I see. I don't know, I guess I was in a cute sort of mood or something. Eh, so you might have a cute side as well. What? Ahaha, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to say. I meant that I was thinking about more cheery stuff, or something... Yeah, <laughs> I get it. But still, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Yes, I read... The Pearl, I think it was called. No, The Old Man in the Sea. And I think I think Shel Silverstein also did The Pearl. That could be wrong. Either way, I read both those. I think they're both Shel Silverstein. And I hated both of them. I thought both of them were terrible. <laughs> he sounds familiar. Maybe when I was a kid. My mom used to take me to the library when I was little, so... Eh, he wrote a lot for children. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. He's famous for using simple words and conversation tones to tell all sorts of stories. Also, The Old Man in the Sea was a pointless book that had no meaning. L zero, zero takeaways from the actual thing. Like, it was a story without meaning, and it was just... I don't know why English teachers are just so con- like... Like, they need to, like, make us read that book. It's ter- it's such a bad book. In my opinion. Like, there's- there's not even a- there's not even a moral to the story. So what- what's the point? I don't know. That's just my opinion. He'd be funny, endearing, sad, even though most people think of him as children's author and poet, many of his works express universal views of the world. Or was that Shel Silverstein? I don't know. Was the old man in the sea Shel Silverstein? I'm gonna look this up right now. I'm going to literally, like, stop what I'm doing. And stop, like, the actual let, let's play plays or whatever. Shel Silverstein, old man. It, old man in the sea was not Shel Silverstein. I, that is awkward. That's Ernest Hemingway. So I just went on like a several minute tangent for nothing. <laughs> Shel Silverstein was the giving tree, right? I'm pretty sure this dude was the giving tree. Never mind, Shel Silverstein's lit. Never, forget about what I said. Ernest Hemingway on the other hand. So it's actually kind of like that then, you could say that. He's not quite the renaissance man that Silverstein is, but you probably won't find much filler in your poems. It may seem easy enough to read through on the surface, and they can pack a lot of meaning in very few words. I see. It's definitely a type of poem that's fun to explore. I'm sure I'll end up doing a lot of different things before I settle on my own style, and it'll take a while before I'm completely comfortable sharing my writing. That's perfectly fine. In fact, I'd probably be more surprised if you immediately started writing that with your own style. Most people go through the same process that you're going through right now. Trying new things is the best way to, to is the best way to find that kind of style that suits you. Anyway, when you talk to everyone about it, naturally they'll be a bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. After all, I know I am, <laughs> but don't force yourself to write some way just because someone else wants you to. You should try to focus on what you want to do. So does that mean I don't have to just go by like the Natsuki words? Because if so, that'd be a lot better. But judging by the way that the original game plays, it's probably pretty closely linked. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. He's not pretty common for something because I'm not I hate when people do that. When someone's like super good and they're like, nah, dude, I'm not I'm not that good. Ah ha ha. And then it's just like way better than yours. And this isn't even strictly like writing. This is like anything. Like if you're like crazy good at video game, they say like, oh, I'm not that good at all. And then you just like get stomped by that dude. That's just the worst feeling ever, man. I don't know. And yeah, let's get to reading then. The box. I see, but I don't believe. A lone fingerprint glistening on gleaming glass. Alliteration, I think is what you call that. Uh, a lone fingerprint... I read that. 
that's repetition, reading the same thing twice. Was it me? Was I, was I always the one in the dark? I pound on the glass in my prison. Why? Why me? The pain jolts me back, the understanding pouring down like heavy rain. It's all a farce. My heart's on display. My life's a script just playing away. The world out there had seemed so bright. It was so free. So many choices, so much potential. So many choices, so much potential. Repetition again. Oof. Uh, maybe I could have had a chance. I realize now that there was never a choice. I was stuck in this box and they on the other side chose for me. Hmm. So if we're just basing it on the poem itself and without any other context, I would probably guess that it's about like having other people have expectations for you and like you having to like fulfill those basically. It's like, um, I don't know if there's a word for it, but like whenever like society like expect has like super high expectations for you and like you have to like follow what they say you need to do kind of um it's like the, the whole gifted child thing where like they're never never able to actually have like dreams or interests of their own because like other people other people's expectations for them um but i'm assuming this has more to do with the whole monica being sentient if i had to guess but i think that's probably where i'm leaning towards as far as interpretation. So what do you think? Well, I don't know quite how to say it. Oh, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. I definitely get a certain kind of feeling from reading your poem, but I'm not sure how to put it into words. I can understand that. Just try to articulate it, articulate it however you want. You can use metaphors outside of poetry, you know? Well, when you put it like that, I don't know. I'd say your poem is kind of abstract. Very vague, at least. Well, I can't tell exactly what you're talking about, but even so, I can feel what the speaker's feeling. Hopefully they actually say like, spell it out. Oh, yeah, I think that describes the poem pretty well. Really? Hmm, I do like my metaphors. <laughs> well, you'd probably be hard pressed to find a poem without a metaphor, actually. Uh, they're pretty well covered in English class, at least. The ability to convey emotions and concepts uh, through words describing things even the writer might never have experienced before. I find that really powerful. When you write metaphorically, it allows for the reader to focus on the emotions in the poem. I guess it kind of opens, up, opens it up for the reader to have their own interpretations. Exactly, it's fascinating. When people can diverge from the original intent to find their own meaning in a work of art. Hmm, yeah, sure, I know what you're talking about. Definitely, definitely, definitely. What was your original intent, then? Ah, I think it'd be more funny to try to figure it out yourself. Ah, they're not gonna, that's so lame. It just makes me more curious now. Ha <laughs> maybe I'll tell you one day. For now, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, or anything for that matter, you get too fixated on a specific point, but if you try so hard to find, make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. So the best thing to do is just force yourself to get something down on the paper, and then tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark pencil of ink. So just move your hand and write whatever's in your heart. Easier said than done. <laughs> I'm sure that's the writer just saying like, yeah, man, writing's a lot harder than that, I'm just saying. Uh, I get what she's trying to say, though. It's better to look back down, look back on your work with fresh eyes after you've gotten something down sometimes. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Cool. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I had a glance around the room. That was surprisingly fun, albeit a bit stressful. I already knew that I wouldn't be able to write to the quality of the girls, but I tried my best. Everyone here is incredibly talented. Well, at least the girl, all the girls, at least. Across the room, Sarah and Monica are happily chatting again. My eyes land on Natsuki and Yuri. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Oh, I hate having to pick between these two. These are these two are always at it. As I watch, Natsuki breezes through Yuri's poem, her eyes skipping over the words. And meanwhile, Yuri stares the paper in her, at the paper in her hand, smiling sadly. So they both hate each other. Natsuki quickly hands Yuri's poem back. Here, I'm done. Uh, already? Yeah, it's not like I was super hard to read. I'm not illiterate, you know? Well, it was hard for me to understand, at least. That's awkward. I just want to make sure that you can cut all the figurative language that I employed. Yeah, I did. It was fancy. <laughs> Thanks. However, I believe that you'd enjoy it more if you looked deeper into it. I enjoyed it plenty already. Anyway, are you finished with my poem yet? Yes, yours is... Cute. Cute. Didn't you learn anything from our conversation yesterday? You look shocked, seeming into her expression. It seems like both girls still hold their own prejudices, despite whatever common ground they have. How can it be cute? You're standing there thinking that I haven't read your poem, when it's really you who hasn't read my poem. It's clearly about the push and pull between giving up and trying hard. I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. Well, maybe you should look deeper into my poem, because I use that type of language on purpose. 
I see. Yeah, these two, uh, these two have been on it, at it since the original game, so it's been years. These more involved subject matters may be better suited to more complex diction. The art of poetry is deeply entwined. entwined with, look, I know what you're trying to do, but it won't work on me. I'm sorry if I'm going to stand. Writing this in this way doesn't make you look cool or smart. It just makes you look super pretentious. Dude, it's, it's, I feel like... I like to think that it's the Nasuki writer and the Yuri writer just like going at it, just roasting each other. If you write with a, the Thoris... The, the, the Thorith. I sound like that kid from Stranger Things. If you write with a thesaurus open next to you, you're just gonna alienate everyone. Using all these big words that make up for a lack of depth. Poetry isn't about impressing people, so you can just stop. God damn, holy crap. I stare wide-eyed at Monica and Sayuri, who now also have fallen silent. They stare back at me, looking unsure of what to do. He said they don't usually have many arguments. Or that they usually have. I don't know. I'm not gonna read through that again. Although tensions between Nasi and Yuri already seem kind of high. Uh, lack of depth. Yeah, that's right. So, if I if I can give some suggestions now. Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I really must ask. What makes you believe that I'll accept your advice after you've been so rude to me? Honestly, a fair point. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, that school's way bad there. That was just blunt honesty. You, do, you, do you even consider other people don't hold the same opinions as you? What are you even trying to say? Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yeah, you do. I want to see if you're really going there. The irony. How dare you- I dare you to say it. I dare you to say it. Nazi gets a small laugh of disbelief. I must thank you, Nazi. I've never been this angry in my life. That's how you give me some courage to speak up. This is why you're angry all- oh. Um... Guys, we shouldn't- This doesn't involve you. I love that line. I just- I just love, like... This, this whole interaction, even though it's so bad, and it's so toxic. It's like, please don't rob me of my moment. So this is your moment to shine or something. A strange thing to take pride in, don't you think? Man, this is bad. It's my moment to finally speak my mind, but I still have the strength to. You're... Nasi, have you ever realized how selfish you are? Suddenly yours seems to be overpowering everyone else in the room. Well, <laughs> everything always needs to go your way. You always jump to conclusions and make rash decisions without regard for your consequences. And it's never your fault, is it? Y you don't know me. No, you don't know me either, and yet you spoke as if you know everything about me. Quite simply, you don't. The very fact that you think your blunt honesty was incredibly rude, well, the fact that you don't think your blunt honesty was incredibly rude, just goes to show how narrow-minded you truly are. Seizing her moment, not Yuri boldly carries on, disdain dripping from each word. I know it must be a difficult concept for you to understand, but the whole world doesn't revolve around you and your manga. So tell me, why should I take advice from someone who can only see their own perspective? Man, this is this is tough, man. Manga Sayori, even at Tommy Lamau. Don't you remember how hostile you were to Tommy Lamau when you first joined us? I wasn't being hostile. We haven't been in a long time. I'm not keeping on my toes. Sorry, not sorry. And that's how I talk to everyone, not just to Tommy Lamau. And I suppose to change my whole personality to cater to how you think I should be. If Tommy Lamau has a problem with that jokes, he can tell me. You don't have to speak for him. Yuri closes her eyes and shakes her head. Carry on as if she didn't hear the outburst. Do you really expect a new member to be able to speak up so easily? Not everyone is unafraid of being a... A brutish cretin... Cretin... As you. Man, they went way harder in this version. <laughs> I don't think the base game is half as... Like... Like... Added. I don't know. Hostile. The rest of us were so excited to have a new member, but did it ever cross your mind? No, you just let your own selfish thoughts dictate your behavior. Selfish? They weren't. You could have scared them off. That might have been what you wanted. What about the rest of us? I just explained myself for God's sake, but as per usual, you aren't listening. You know, for someone who's been ranting on about how narrow-minded I am, you're pretty intolerant yourself. There, I used a big word. Do I sound like Shakespeare yet? Am I worthy of your attention now? Man, they both got their claws out. Also, Monica and Sayuri didn't have any issue with me yesterday. It's just you. Of course they did, Nasi. They just didn't say anything. Monica's too responsible. Sayori's too kind. So why don't we ask Tom Lamau then, as the more unbiased spectator? Fine! Tom Lamau, who's right? Mir Hiri. How did I get dragged in this first place? I don't even know what they want me to decide on at this point. Should I just ignore all the personal and just talk about poetry? That's what started the argument, after all. It's not like I'm a good judge of writing quality, given that I'm just a beginner. I don't think it would be fair to take either side. I should defer to one of the club leaders. So of course that's gonna be. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I was gonna stop it and make that a part three. 
I really don't want to. I really want to see where this is going. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. I have no choice in the matter. Because this video is already half an hour and this is way too long already. I want to keep playing this, but, um... 15 likes? Can we get 15 likes and I'll release the next video tomorrow? Can we do that? Is that too much to ask? Is that too disgusting and YouTuber-ish? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna call it an episode there. So, be sure to subscribe if you want to watch the next part. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. Blah, 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 blah. And roll the outro.